welcome to another video by Clearview Systems. In this video, we're going to discuss AML risk templates. So the purpose of the AML risk templates, as the name implies, it is another way of making our fill-in procedure of a customer faster and just making life a little easier. So let's go ahead and find the drop-down menu on the left-hand corner and find AML risk templates. And let's click on new. You can create as many types of templates as you like. You could create a high risk, a low risk, medium risk, and so on. So for example, let's create a template for a high risk customer for a customer who is a PEP, where PEP stands for politically exposed person. You're going to need to indicate the template ID. So here, let's, for example, say high risk PEP. And then you're going to need a name for this assignment. So let's call this a high risk government official PEP. Now for the risk rating, that is a range between one and five, where one indicates a very low risk customer and five indicates high risk. So here we're going to indicate five. Now is this customer high risk? We're going to say yes. Now for is the customer on hold or is suspicious? For now, we're going to leave these blank because this may change in the future. However, is the customer politically exposed? That is correct. So we're going to check that. Now for these options below, note how there's an underline. Usually that indicates that it's clickable. So let's click on a source of funds. And as an example, let's say it's personal income. Now, if you know this information for the purpose of transaction, for an example here, let's say foreign exchange. For the PIN pin, this represents the purpose of the business relationship. So if we click on that, we're going to say general foreign exchange cash trading. Now, when you have completed the template for this specific risk template, let's click on save. And it should appear on your form. And if you click on all, you should be able to see all of the previous risk templates that you have created. Now I'm going to show you how to use these risk templates that you have created. If we go to customers, now find the customer that you'd like to review. and click on Review of Customer Activity and Risk. Now say we are filling out the risk assessment for this customer. Now in the top right hand corner, there is a field called Risk Class. Now this is where you indicate the template ID of the risk templates that you have created. So here we had just created a template ID called a high risk PEP. So here if we type in high risk, and click enter. Any ID with high risk indicated should appear. So here, since we've only created one, only this one appeared. So let's click on that and click on pick. All the empty fields that we had indicated in that template should now appear. So this essentially simplifies the risk assessment procedure for customers. And that is the purpose of our AML risk templates. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact Clearview Systems.